when you get up on Veterans Day, the actual day, go out, stand under a beautiful tree like we have here. And if you can find a flag, hold a flag right here. Remember where it came from. Remember why it's the flag of this country. Remember what was done for it and hopefully will be done always for it because that's what Veterans Day means to me. Hey everyone, I am Michelle Disler, the mayor of Shawnee, Kansas. Thank you for joining us today as we honor all of our veterans. We truly hope you take a few minutes today to recognize our veterans and all they have done for our country. Honor God, Tin Hut, Port Arms. Prepare to fire. Ready, aim. Ready, aim, fire. Ready, aim. Present arms. proclamation in recognition of Veterans Appreciation Day. Whereas on November 11, 1918, fighting ceased in World War I when an armistice between the Allied forces and Germany went into effect. And whereas in November 1919, President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed November 11 as the first commemoration of Armistice Day. And whereas in 1954, the United States Congress officially renamed Armistice Day as Veterans Day in order to honor American veterans of all wars. And whereas the city of Shawnee is dedicated to honoring the sacrifice of the millions of veterans of the United States who have served in lands both foreign and domestic to defend our nation's freedom. And whereas as tangible evidence for the foregoing, the city of Shawnee, Kansas on November 8, 1992 established a memorial park and national tribute to all veterans. And whereas local organizations, including Shawnee VFW Post 10552, American Legion Post 327, and Sons of the American Revolution Monticello Chapter also go above and beyond to support our military veterans. And whereas Shawnee will continue to support and honor those serving in our armed forces, and in the words of one of our founding fathers, Alexander Hamilton, who said, there is a certain enthusiasm and liberty that makes human nature rise above self, its acts of bravery and heroism. Therefore, I, Michelle Disler, the mayor of the city of Shawnee, Kansas, do hereby proclaim Friday, November 11, 2022, as Veterans Appreciation Day in the city of Shawnee and encourage all of our citizens to honor and support those who serve and protect our nation. Veterans Day is a time 
to honor veterans, uh, current veterans and past veterans. It's important uh, in our society and that's why I think uh, that our society needs to understand that segment of society that defended and fought our, for our country. Um, our country needs reminded of that. Our country needs uh, to understand about patriotism. Our country needs to understand that um, people gave their lives, people fought for this country, and they willingly did that. Memorial Day is about the veterans that have passed away. Veterans Day, though, is about the veterans that are still alive. Um, and to go up to someone and to say thank you, to be appreciative of what they do, um, it's the kind of thing that you can reflect on this time of year to say, hey, I know a veteran, um, I'm gonna tell them thank you, and I'm gonna make sure that they're doing okay, and make sure that their life is well, along with uh, anything else that they may need in life. To me, it's really a great time to catch up with friends and family and, and reflect on what my service really means to me and, and to them as well. I can stand tall and pay homage to the flag that we fought for, that we carry in our hearts, that we salute every day, um, and work very hard at making sure that those behind us understand what it is. And so you take that day to reach into your heart and remember what they did for us. Honoring our veterans is important now on Veterans Day and on every day. To me, Veterans Day is a time to pause, to show honor and reverence for the dedication, commitment, and sacrifice our veterans have made and those serving now are making. We are fortunate to have dozens of veterans and active service members working at the city of Shawnee. So let's pause to honor them now. The City of Shawnee launched the Hometown Hero Project in 2021 to show honor and respect to our veterans. When you drive up and down Neiman Road between Shawnee Mission Parkway and 55th Street and also along Johnson Drive downtown, you'll see the names of local men and women who have served and are still serving our community. It's an important reminder of their sacrifice and hopefully a small way we as a city can honor them and all that they have done. To see people and give them people, you know, shake my hand. Oh, I, I know you, you know, you're the guy with the banner up there. So thanks for your service. And again, it's one of those awesome things that you're just really appreciative and touched that, you know, the community recognizes who you are and what you do. And it's just kind of a touching moment, I guess, basically for me. Shawnee is also proud to be a Purple Heart City. The Military Order of the Purple Heart started the Purple Heart Trail, which is a collective effort where cities and counties display the Purple Heart logo on street signs and markers to remember to show gratitude and reverence for the price of our freedom. This, in addition to our Freedom Award that recognizes how the city supports our employees who are active in the Guard and the Reserve, are all ways we work to make sure our military members understand how much we care about them. To be honest with you, uh... It got, it had been touching me for all those years to the point that uh, I decided it was time to recognize this city for what they do because they did things like 
when I was gone, the guys would mow my lawn, or if the plumbing broke, my wife could simply call up the fire department and one of the guys that does plumbing on the side came by and, and fixed it for her. And, uh, you know, it's always the little things that, you know, they trimmed the hedges, they mowed the lawn, they helped out, you know, when needed. Um, so it was really, you know, like, I got gift baskets from the city too when I was overseas and stuff like that from people from Public Works and from City Hall said, hey, we're still thinking about you. We can all take note from our veterans, along with all the men and women serving in our military right now. You are shining examples of what it means to serve our country. Well, I'm proud to be a veteran. I'm glad that I spent the time I did in the military. And uh, that's important to me. It changed my life. Uh, I really feel that uh, every person who goes to war and fights in a war comes back different, comes back changed, and it changed my life, and that's an important part um, in the, the history of my life, in my history, and how the things that I learned and the things that I had to deal with uh, coming back. I hope to personally thank all of you. I hope everyone in our community takes time to thank you. The power of kindness is real and spending a few extra minutes to tell someone what they mean to you or what their service means to you can make a real difference. You're an invaluable part of our city and we sincerely thank you for everything you bring to our community. Have a wonderful Veterans Day.